Yeah, it, it is difficult for an immigrant educator to get a job in South Africa. Uh, the first part is that the educators, uh, they have to register with the SACA, then also register with SES. Then for one to register with SES, uh, the educator must be employed. So it is difficult to get employment again without SES. So you find the educators, they end up getting employed by these fly-by-night uh, schools so that they can apply for SS, the South Africa Certificate for Educators. After getting SS, then one can try to get to a government school. So all immigrant workers or most immigrant workers, they will first have to get employed by these fly-by-night schools so that they can get access to register with SES. Then the second part is that most of these fly-by-night, most of these schools are not registered with uh, Umalus, so that becomes a major problem and they cannot pay their teachers. It is difficult uh, to get a job at a government school. And when you're at a private school, and most of these private schools are owned by immigrants themselves who understand the situation and who know that the immigrant educators are desperate and it will be difficult for them to protest or engage in other activities or to contest the, their treatment at the schools. So they get exploited by the owners of these private schools. They work for long hours and they are given absurd targets which they have to achieve every year. So the plight of uh, an educator, an immigrant educator, is very real and very painful.